Ladies and gentlemen, the skill details have finally been revealed for Ragnar Prime. Yes, we know not only the skills, but also all of the numbers. So today we're going to go over all of that. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, if you've been paying attention to the channel, you know that Ragnar Prime was revealed a few weeks ago at this point, and we already knew that he was going to be an infantry commander, which was super weird, came out of nowhere. And then we found out that he's going to play a key role in an upcoming story, which we should be learning about very, very soon. It might even be in the next patch. Hatch. but here we can see that yes he is an inventory versatility and skill based commander and if we take a look at his active skill it's called Raven's call it is a 1000 rage requirement AoE skill and it says deals direct damage to up to three enemy troops in a fan shaped area with a damage factor of 2000 and the current target of this commander's troop takes additional damage every second for the next two seconds so that's an extra 600 damage factor on top of the 2000 AOE, which is actually insane, but it gets even crazier. Wait until you see his expertise. It's actually ridiculous, but this is very exciting. This is like the bare minimum that we would have expected for an AOE commander. I was really hoping that it wouldn't be anything worse than 2000. So I'm very happy to see that it is that 2000 mark. That seems to be the sweet spot for the devs. And then we have a little extra bonus damage on top of that. This is a damage over time. It looks like, and I'm wondering if you pair this commander with Liu Che, which isn't very interesting intuitive because normally you would want to see Liu Che paired with a smite commander or like Alexander the Great for example but let's say he does pair with Liu Che is this like if he gets the extra combo attack during these two seconds can he trigger an additional 300 damage right similar to like Sargon for example when you pair Sargon with Liu Che that sounds like it could be super interesting but that probably won't be the best commander pairing and right off the rip guys well i'll save my comments for later in the video but here we can take a look at the second skill and it says this commander's units gain 40 percent defense and 10 percent march speed if this commander's troop contains only infantry units it takes 10 percent less normal damage very very tanky skill here guys this is really looking good for ragnar prime that is an insane amount of defense stats here the march speed is a little bit lackluster but you're gonna see why in just a second and taking 10 percent less normal damage is very important right now Liu Che and William Wallace are popping off in the open field and Gorgo to some extent as well and so taking less smite damage is very very good now also keep in mind that if Ragnar Prime is used in the special KVK story and he has his special accessory equipped then that means that this is going to be a fully universal skill meaning that this will apply just generic 40 percent defense and 10 percent march speed to any troop type so you can really start to think about all of the different possible pairings that you could do i mean think about like think about how much defense huo is going to have with this commander like as a secondary it's actually insane or even pairing him with somebody like Zhuge Liang to make it mega tanky still get a little bit of march speed like there's so many possibilities here it's insane moving on to the fourth skill c king it says if this commander is in a field troop so this only works on the field whenever it launches or is hit with a basic attack it has a 30 percent chance to drain the enemy's attack by 20 percent and march speed by 30 percent for two seconds so this is one of the reasons why his previous skill did not have a crazy amount of march speed because you are literally going to be stealing march speed from the enemy this is a 30 percent march speed drain and a 30 percent march speed bonus for you simultaneously you'll see here that it says for the duration of the effect reduces an enemy's attributes and increases your own by an equal amount so a one in three uh, almost a one in three chance of occurring however I'll point you to the fact that it says whenever you launch or is hit with a basic attack so if you are hitting somebody and they're hitting you back then you actually have two chances to trigger this drain effect in that turn and there's no listed cooldown here right now I imagine that if you like let's say you trigger it once on that turn you can't trigger it a second time on that turn because the, it'll be the same debuff applied the same buff applied it, it won't like stack on top of itself but the fact that there's no listed cooldown here sounds insane and also once again if we're talking about pairing with a combo attack commander will that trigger this extra chance to drain your enemy's stats if you're pairing him with Liu Che 
are you going to have an additional 30 percent chance for every combo attack that you launch i imagine you will because combo attacks have historically worked that way so again like maybe this is a liu che pairing kind of insane to think about now assuming that you're not being attacked back which is historically how you would want to be fighting in the open field right usually if you're getting targeted you tend to retreat a little bit so if you're not being hit with basic attacks then you have a flat 30 percent chance so if we do some napkin math then this is kind of like on average six percent bonus attack and nine percent march speed right that is on average it's a little bit weak but the fact that it's also it it's also a debuff right so it's on average a nine percent debuff and on average a nine percent attack debuff for the target as well right so yeah this skill is super interesting I'm really happy to see a brand new mechanic here like this is we've never seen this before this is going to be very cool I can't wait to see how often you can actually trigger this because he might be a complete menace taking a look at the fourth skill it's called in Odin's Hall if this commander is in a field troop so once again the last two skills here only work in the field so this is 100 a field based commander okay if this commander is in a field troop their troop takes 25 percent less skill damage and every time their troops rage reaches 70 percent you gain a 15 percent bonus to skill damage dealt for four seconds so you absolutely want to be a primary commander with Ragnar Prime if you're pairing with a skill damage based commander because that means that the secondary commander right a four second buff well actually it's when you reach 70 percent so yeah actually you know what never mind you probably will not still have this buff by the time your secondary commander launches their active skill so really it, this this skill probably will only ever buff Ragnar Prime's active skill that's probably the only thing that will fall within that four second window unless you're gaining an insane amount of rage maybe uh but I, I we'd have to test it to see how that works it's also worth noting first of all 25 percent less skill damage very good very tanky we're already seeing 40 percent defense 10 percent normal damage reduction and we're seeing uh a, a 25 percent skill damage taken reduction this dude is mega tanky okay but on top of that we have a skill damage bonus it's a small one let's be honest 15 percent skill damage bonus for four seconds meaning it's probably only going to work on one of the two commanders in your army uh, that is very small but it's still nice okay still good still getting that bonus damage there and finally the expertise here says it boosts Raven's call which is the active skill so now we have a three target fan shaped AoE and it's 2200 damage factor plus all troops hit by the skill take an additional damage every second for the next two seconds that part has not changed so it's just a 200 damage factor buff to the active skill so to me this commander is screaming to be paired with cpo prime cpo prime seems to be like the number one thing that you would want to pair this commander with because think about all the things that we're doing here with this commander okay 2200 damage factor three target aoe plus an additional 600 that's a 2800 damage factor to one target okay which is what we just saw shajar get by the way with her skill damage plus you're hitting two other targets for 2200 which is insane we also get 40 percent defense 10 percent march speed 10 percent less normal damage taken 25 percent less skill damage taken and a one in three chance of draining the enemy's attack in march speed plus you get 15 percent extra skill damage for whatever I mean we'll have to wait and see if this applies to only Ragnar but I think it won't if you pair let's say CPO Prime as the primary then you would probably get this bonus for CPO's active skill although I guess technically you would rather have it for Ragnar's active skill because it's going to be dealing more damage so to me uh, I think we're going to be seeing especially with the skill tree I think we're going to be seeing Guan Yu finally take the bench maybe permanently with Ragnar Prime coming into the game it just seems like he was built perfectly to replace Guan Yu right because yes Guan silence is still very very unique but it's the same damage factor although we're dealing even more damage with Ragnar then we take a look at the attack you don't get as much attack bonus with Ragnar but you get way more defense bonus okay the March speed is a little bit lackluster you get 10 percent with Ragnar but you get more when you steal it from the enemy so on average you'll probably get around the 10 15 percent right and then we have an extra additional damage factor that does kind of play in with the damage that you're dealing with the active skill and then if we look at the expertise 
15 extra skill damage when you get a shield 15 percent but you always get 15 percent extra skill damage with ragnar after you reach 70 percent of your rage bar so he seems like a way more tanky guan yu who's going to be dealing more damage with his active skill depending on how you factor in this green dragon crescent blade but also i guess we have to factor in the defense and attack from the relic here on guan yu as well so really guan yu has 35 percent attack 10 percent defense would you rather that or would you rather have 40 percent defense from ragnar prime and a one in three chance of attack let's say it's six percent attack 40 percent defense or would you rather have 35 percent attack 10 percent defense i'd rather take the defense with ragnar every day of the week because he's just way more tanky in every other way it seems to me like a slam dunk although i mean guan yu ah oh man it, guan yu is still so good it's actually insane the other thing that we could be looking at here um is maybe we will be doing and i know this is a little bit antithetical but we could be doing a liu che with ragnar prime pairing here because both of them are dealing insane amounts of aoe damage both of them have infantry defense and march speed and attack and we have 20 percent less skill damage on liu che and 25 percent less skill damage taken on ragnar here so way less skill damage taken which is just ridiculous plus you have the combo attacks to trigger the extra drains most likely from ragnar and possibly to trigger the extra damage on the active skill from ragnar prime here as well the extra 300 for two seconds so i mean you could have an insane pairing here with liu che then we bench the alexander the great and we run um liu che primary probably with Ragnar secondary because the skill tree doesn't have any synergy with Liu Che whereas the attack tree is kind of a little bit synergy for both of them uh you would do Liu Che primary Ragnar prime secondary then you would just run the Guan CPO like you've always run and then you have two infantry armies that are double AoE with insane damage factor and all of them are relatively tanky uh I think the Liu Che Ragnar would be even more tanky but there's just so many possibilities here it's actually a lot it's a lot to take in um, we could be looking at a possibly CPO Prime you run CPO Prime primary with uh Liu Che secondary like you always have and then you run Guan Yu primary with Ragnar Prime secondary which is it's just going to add a ton of tankiness to Guan Yu which is what you've always wanted and you get to keep the silence which is insane right if we take a look at the tankiness we get from CPO Prime we see um 40 attack which is insane by the way 20 percent health um which is nice absolutely but I think if you look at this new Ragnar 40 percent defense is wild and you take 10 percent less normal damage and 25 percent less skill damage if you take a look at the skill damage you take reduction from CPO it's a 50 percent chance to reduce it um to me you know you're just going to get more skill damage right with uh the Ragnar Prime with the over 70 percent rage it'll be only probably for one target but man I, I don't know I mean there's still so much synergy here with the with the extra rage from a silenced target so maybe you would still run the Guan CPO you know that just could be the pairing forever and then you just like I said run the Liu Che primary Ragnar Prime secondary that could be a thing or again you run Liu Che with William Wallace uh like a lot of players are doing or William Wallace Liu Che or Liu Che with Alexander the Great and then you run the Ragnar Prime primary with CPO Prime secondary there's so many possibilities here for infantry it's actually insane but beyond that again we have to consider that Ragnar Prime is going to be universal in his special game mode in his special KVK story and so that opens the floodgates for so many more commanders that I mean think about pairing with Lee Sung Ye for example like there's just so many commanders that you can pair him with think about pairing him with like Asher Bonapal right just making Asher Bonapal have so much extra defense for Archer mains uh and an extra little bit bonus uh March speed right like there's just so much to consider here I I I don't I don't know like this is 
one of the most interesting commander releases that we've ever seen the stats look very impressive i'm very excited for ragnar prime but the main question is how are we going to get our hands on ragnar prime that is like the number one thing that we do not know official channels did not mention how we would be getting our hands on ragnar prime right so i have no idea but i am very excited for him for infantry mains this is amazing and for other players that are looking to slot him into one of your existing lineups during this special kvk that's going to be amazing as well so overall ragnar prime looks very good i am absolutely expertising this commander no question really can't wait to see what he does on the battlefield but guys let me know what you think in the comments section below while you're down there consider dropping a thumbs up on the channel it really helps out the channel a ton it really gets this video out to the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace